Anybody's ever listened to me commentate? I am absolutely in love with this wrestler. As small as she is, she is still one of the powerhouses in the female wrestling community. I agree with you myself. Actually, Emma actually helped me get into the SL wrestling community, and I am so grateful to have a friend of Emma Greenness. She is a fantastic lady, and I wish her the best during this match. Introducing next her tag team partner from the Asylum City, Central Europe, standing tall 5 feet 6, weighing in 115 pounds, 155 pounds, Samantha Foxy. Just her inmate, just her, Emma is, uh, she's very special to me. I've been watching Samantha a long time as well. I've kind of followed her career all through it as well. Emma's got some bandages on her. Emma! Emma, it's low! We're not here last week. You would have seen, uh, if you were here, you would have seen it. But if you weren't, you missed it when Samantha Foster and Emma came out riding on Sarah Crowley's motorcycle. Sarah took a fish to that, laid out Samantha Foster, attacked Emma Grainless, and then tied her to the back of the motorcycle and drug her all over the, uh, the area behind KOW. So they're definitely not in their peak position, in the top of their conditions here after that brutal attack. No, I, I'd imagine Emma Greenness is suffering still from the road rash and, and everything that went on. It'll be interesting to watch this unfold before our eyes. And now, introducing their opponent, hailing from Austin, Texas, in the United States, standing tall, 5 feet 10, 108, 185 pounds, the Lone Star, Sarah Jane Crowley. The biggest size in SL Wrestling. to like her actually. I mean she put out she put in the hospital one of the fan favorites in honey to lunch. in the ring now, ladies and gentlemen. And, uh, she's changed to look a little bit. Quite a bit of fun going on that day, too, though. Right? 
Now, if all the women dressed like that were riding motorcycles in Texas, I'd have been dead a long time ago. <laughs> All right, so this is a tag team style handicap match. Basically, Sarah Jane Crowley is going to be facing off against Samantha Foxy and Emma Graymouth. Samantha Foxy and Emma Graymouth must tag out. Only one in the ring at a time with SJC. And you see just in time calling for the bell. Samantha Foxy right there in the center of the ring. SJC just kind of standing there waiting on her. And SJC comes running right out and goes right into a spirit takedown and she begins wailing on Samantha Foxy. No hesitation whatsoever as she goes directly after Samantha Foxy and starts beating the crap out of her. Justine making sure that SJC follows the rules as much as she can. That girl's got a bad... SJC lifting Samantha Foxy to her knees and then bringing that big forearm right down on top of her. Right into a headlock takedown. Samantha Foxy has no answer so far as SJC just started taking control of this match right from the get-go. Samantha Foxy better find something. She needs to do something. To, to get control. Justine right down there on top, making sure that Samantha Fox is okay, not ready to tap out. Samantha, definitely not ready to give up. She's a champion's champion. She's not ready to give up just because you got her in a little headlock there, Stacey. And you can see Samantha Foxy now powering back up, forcing them both to stand. Samantha Foxy thrown into the rope. Samantha comes flying back off the ropes. SJC, they're waiting for a big shoulder block, knocking Samantha Foxy back down to the mat. SJC just showed a little power there, letting her know exactly what she's going up against. The wall of flesh, that is Sarah Jane Crowley. The wall of flesh, Lord have mercy. That was not in any way, any kind of innuendo. I didn't say anything about that. That was all you. <laughs> <laughs> Sarah Jane Crowley still taking it to Samantha Foxy. Samantha in a lot of trouble. She better tap out quick or else this match may be over right there. She's going for the cover. One, two, two and a bit. Samantha Foxy just barely getting her shoulder up. SJC right on top of her. For a handicapped match, I really can't tell which side is handicapped because it looks like SJC doesn't need any help. She's handling up on all this right now. Emma over here chomping at the bit. She's wanting Samantha to get to her. Samantha in trouble. I, I'm honestly surprised I haven't seen her in this. Well, you gotta think. Her and Emma have gone through a lot with Sarah Jane lately. Oh. And with those brutal attacks, they're not gonna be at the top of their game. Right now, you see Samantha Foxy trying to do something, trying to break SJC's momentum. She pulls her down into the jawbreaker, laying SJC out. Now, Samantha Foxy has to find it in herself to be able to crawl over the tag out with Emma Grayness. Emma wanting it. Samantha Foxy trying to get her bearings. She goes right back after Sarah Jane Crowley picking her up. And there she goes, lifting her boot to the gut. SJC right there in the center. Samantha Foxy comes in with a drop kick to the knee, taking out 
that big leg of Sarah Jane Crowley off the rope and again another drop kick to the knee. Samantha Foxy now making her way over to the corner. Emma Gray Mist reaching out to her and they make the tag. Emma Gray Mist is in. Foxy, she is moving over. I guess she's gonna hold SJC while Emma comes in. Counting them. Samantha knows exactly how long she has till she has to be out of that ring. And she takes full advantage. And that's just good knowledge of the rules right there. Like, for Foxy to do that and be able to hold her up to allow Emma to get... Now, Emma Graham is pulling SJC up to her knees. Emma going right into a big wrist lock. She starts twisting on that arm. And then a boot. Emma coming back with a DDT. Emma going right to work on Sarah Jane Crowley. Even with the damages that Sarah Jane inflicted on Emma, you can always count on Emma to put on a show no matter what, and she's going to use it to her advantage. Damn straight. Emma is never one to quit. I've seen her going up against much bigger opponents, much worse odds, and she has come out on top. I have all the faith in Emma Greenness to go ahead and take charge of this match. And now you see her bending down. She is picking up SJC once again. Setting her up. She sends SJC into the rope. The rope's coming right back. Emma Greenwich waiting there. SJC tries to avoid it, but she gets caught with a big clothesline. Emma Greenwich trying to rip her head off her shoulders. You know, I, I'm not saying, but I'm just saying, we're very lucky not to have a wardrobe malfunction out here. But I do, I do agree with that sentiment. <laughs> and right there, it's just going in right after, and she slams into that corner. And goes right up onto the second rope. She has SJC pinned in the corner, and she goes to wailing on her. Just in time, right there, she is counting her down. Emma Graham is taking it to the count of three. She knows the rules. But meanwhile, the damage was done as she got in there and just started pounding on SJC. SJC looking worse for wear right now as she tries to catch her breath. Emma Graham is once again charging right into that corner. Yanking SJC out of it. She's got that front face lock and she starts pulling SJC towards the center of the ring. Could she be setting up for something big though? What will happen? I don't know, but it's always good to have your opponent in the center of the ring away from the ropes that can help him either get out of a pin, get out of a hold, or what have you. Smart ring knowledge right there as she whips around the neck broker. SJC out in the center, no work after one, two! Only a two count. SJC not quite ready to go down. You see just in time letting everybody know it was just a two. Emma Grayness looking a little bit frustrated and hope that she had SJC beat that time. Meanwhile, over here in this corner, Samantha Foxy is regaining her wit. She's regaining her strength. She'll be nice and rested by the time Emma is ready to turn her over. Something tells me that when Foxy gets back in the ring though, all hell is going to break loose. I'm hoping to see something come out of Foxy. I know what kind of damage she can do and I'd like to see it. I haven't seen it in a while. Especially against SKC. SKC seems to be having the upper hand most of the time right now. Running on in there! SKC was laying awake, playing possum, and it comes running in! SJC catching her with a big shin buster and Emma Grace has ripped right out of the joint. Oh. My body hurts just watching that. I might need a shot of tequila after this match. 
You wanna go jump? So wasted. So Alright. SJC picking up Emma Graymitz, flinging her across the ring. Emma running over, she gets slammed into that turnbuckle. SJC coming right after her, and she is right into the corner on top of Emma Graymitz. Slamming into her, and she goes, and she wraps that leg around the rope. And oh. she starts to yank on it. She is trying to pop Emma Graymitz's knee out of socket. Referee is counting down. As someone who has been in the ring before and had that happen, that is a not a good feeling at all. Like, it literally feels like your muscles are ripping in half when they do that. And into it. You can see Justin trying to tell him to get out of the corner. Every time she starts counting, she gets to a count of three, and SJC backs off, resetting the count. Now SJC helping Emma out of the corner. The smaller Emma Graymas out into the center of the ring. SJC finding her way back on top now. Emma Graymas grabbing her back. She is in excruciating pain. Sarah Jane Crowley catching her second win. And she has come out fighting once again, taking control back of this match. Emma Graymas did a lot of trouble. She is in the center of the ring, and we got the single leg crowd hold. We've seen a submission already tonight. Will we see a second one? As she has that thing locked in there, sitting on Emma Graymas back. She has that knee, and she is yanking it. This is not Emma. good for Emma Graymas. Emma refusing to tap out. Sarah Jane yelling for the tap. She wants the humiliation of the tap. Emma Graymas refusing, but Emma better figure something out. She better get to a rope. She better figure out how to break that before it breaks her. And Foxy's just shouting from the corner. Emma Graymas crawling. Sarah Jane Crowley unable to stop her as she is trying to keep her weight, trying to keep that leg bent. Emma Graymas uses that to her advantage as she crawls over and she grabs the rope. You can hear the crowd trying to cheer on Emma, trying to get her going. You hear them yelling for her, don't tap, don't tap. Emma Graymas, one of the crowd favorites, they're trying to get behind her, trying to fire up their champion. Emma able to get to that rope. Sarah Jane Crowley forced to release that hold, but still it did what it was supposed to do. Emma Graymas, after having that knee almost yanked out, then she had that hold put on it. Emma Graymas did a lot of trouble. Oh, Sarah Jane Crowley feeding her through the rope, and now she is yanking back on her. The end of the that not only hurts your, your back, it hurts your entire body, your neck, your arms, your legs. Sarah Jane Crowley a little frustrated that she couldn't get that tap out. Emma Graham is not one usually to tap though, she will keep fighting. So is that and a full cool moon tonight? Is that what I'm seeing? For, damn. I would say it's a crescent moon. It's that, that's a big ass moon is what that is. And now we got the... We got a pin. We had a pin. And then SJC let it go. Evidently she wasn't done punishing Emma Graymouth. And I can't say anything bad about Sarah Jane Crowley because I am honestly scared of her. And I'm afraid of what she'll do to me backstage if I read her. Aww. And now we've got the Dragon Sleeper Hold. This may be it, ladies and gentlemen. 
This could be the end for Emma and Samantha. You got Dragon Super Hold is no joke. It is one of the more vicious holds in all of wrestling. And she has it laid in perfectly on Emma Greyness. We're looking for the tap out right here. I don't know what Emma has left in the tank. Justin right there on top of her. Emma still shouting no. Again, you can hear the crowd getting behind Emma. Trying to pump her up. I'm sure SJC wouldn't do anything horrible to you. I don't know. You saw what she did to, to Emma last week. After all, she's such a sweet-spirited person. Such a kind-hearted lady. Are, are, are you sure that we're talking about that the same with, person? I can't say that shit with a straight face. I don't know what I'm saying over here. Right now, SJC gets the Wrangler going. Emma Greymist is done for, ladies and gentlemen. There is no coming back from that. SJC nails her with the Wrangler. This should be all she wrote. I'm pretty sure Emma is seeing the stars at night, big and bright, deep in the heart of Texas right now. How the hell is she seeing that over that moon that's in her face? I mean, if there's a moon, you gotta have some stars. <laughs> there is definitely a moon out here. Alright, SJC rolling Emma up. One, two! Emma finding something somewhere to go ahead and kick out of that. I'm happy with that at all. She looks like she's in complete disbelief. After all the records she's put Emma through, Emma is still fighting. And that just goes to show why Emma has been a champion in her own right for so many years. She is just one of the best female wrestlers out there. She ain't no easy win. And there we go. Emma Greyness gets thrown in. Bring him back to it. And Emma Grimace goes over here with the sunset flip. And she goes for the pin and no. Too close to the ropes. Just in time letting Emma know she's on the ropes. Emma's got to tag in Foxy. You can hear the crowd out there cheering for Emma, telling her to get to the corner, get over there and get your tag. Emma in so much, as you see right there, man, so much pain. <laughs> Samantha Foxy stretching out for a reason for Emma Grimace. Emma just got to find her way over there before SJC finds her way back up. SJC starting to stir now. Come on, Emma, you got this. Emma crawling, SJC rolling over, she's about to get to her feet, Emma getting over to the corner. The ref counting both ladies out, Emma up, she gets the tag, in comes Samantha Foxy, charging in, she goes right in after SJC, off the ropes. Samantha Foxy with the ground and pound as she just dives right on top of Sarah Jane Crowley, and she goes to work on her. I believe that Samantha Foxy has just woken the fuck up. Welcome to the really? match, Samantha. Get her. Unleash it. A little bit of payback there for the way Samantha got treated in the very beginning of the match. And now she is right after going after the net breaker and she gets it! SJC! The victim of Samantha Foxy's net breaker, Samantha Foxy. Continues to work on Samantha Foxy coming off the rope. Right and then she goes with the lariat. She has nice to see her now. And there she goes doing the work on her. And boy, the leg drops on the back. And SJC here. Samantha Foxy. Right. My, my co-host said, what the fuck up? 
And hopefully soon we're going to be looking at West Coast. SJC fall. The big woman gets toppled. And that's the fact she's going for the turn. She's got to hit that leg. One, two. Only a two count. SJC not quite done. Samantha needs to go ahead and compete. This barrage of punishment. SJC had it coming. I hate to say it, but she had it coming. And coming right up, SJC with the eye rake. She goes right after Samantha Foxy. The twister in the trailer park. Samantha Foxy in trouble as SJC gets those belly to back suplexes. She goes for the bridge pin. One, two. Samantha Foxy able to kick out of that SJC. Showing a bit of life left in her as Samantha Foxy gets caught by the twister. Samantha is just down and out. I don't Literally. know where. I have no idea where else she is pulling this stuff from. She has the impression of fortitude. It's amazing she has taken the punishment she had. Oh, she's taking a charge once again. This could spell trouble for Samantha and Emma. SJC picking Samantha up by the hair. Okay, I don't know what we're going to see here, but it, it can't be good. And with Sarah Jane, it typically isn't. She has so many moves in her arsenal, so many devastating. Like that, there we go, another inverted suplex. I guess that's one for each of them as SJC continues to lay on the pain. I don't, you know, they call it a handicap match, but right now I don't see a handicap for SKC at all. Mm -mm. So what, what are they going to have to do to beat her? I don't know. They've got to pull something out of their sleeves and fast. Samantha Foxy, she is in the camel clutch. Oh, the low rider. Sorry. Showing my age there, the low rider as she has her bent back in pain. Justin right there on top of it, asking her, you hear the crowd trying to pump up Samantha. In comes Emma Greenness. Emma comes charging in. And she nails Samantha Foxy with a drop kick. Breaking the hold. I don't know what Justine's going to do about that one. Justin making Emma get back into her corner. I'm Meanwhile, surprised she's not slapping her with the rule book right now. Right? Meanwhile, as JC rolling to her feet, Samantha Fox is still not able to get up. SJC moving towards this corner over here. Maybe she's got a few words for Emma, not liking the fact that Emma came in and broke that up. SJC over here jaw jacking. Of course. She doesn't realize that Samantha Foxy has found her way to her feet. SJC turns around. Just in time to get caught by the darkness team. One, two, and three. Samantha Foxy catching SJC with the darkness team. SJC getting pinned by Samantha Foxy. And winners of the match, Emma Kramer.
And Samantha Foxy. You know what? I know who got the pinfall. I know who got the win according to the book. But let me tell you, I think uh, in the greatness of Samantha Foxy are worse for real to be in this match. I think Claire James probably laid up two at first base now. I couldn't do more way for our lady. She definitely put them through the ringer as it were. I don't think this is over. I think these two ladies got a long dress coming up. We're going to see a whole lot more of it. I don't know if any female in this set has an answer for Claire James Out. She's just seen indomitable. She goes to the moon and she's got 